If you wake up in the morning and you crave a drink, you might be an alcoholic. Well, if you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is check your phone before you even get out of bed, you might be an addict. If you walk from room to room in your own apartment holding your telephone, <laughs> you might be an addict. When you're driving in your car and you get a text and your phone goes beep, we, we hate email, true. We love the beep, the buzz, the ding, oh. <laughs> right? You'll be there in 10 minutes, and yet you have to look at it right now. You might be an addict. And even if you read it and it says, are you free for dinner next Thursday, and you have to reply immediately, you can't wait the 10 minutes, you might be an addict. And for all you Gen Ys out there who like to think that you're better at multitasking because you grew up with the technology, then why do you keep crashing your cars when you're texting? <laughs> You're not, you're not better at multitasking, you're better at getting distracted. In fact, if you look at the statistics, ADD and ADHD have, uh, diagnoses of ADD and ADHD have risen 66% in the past 10 years. Okay, ADD and ADHD is a frontal lobe disorder, right? Are you telling me out of nowhere 66% of our youth have a frontal lobe problem? Where did that come from? No, it's a misdiagnosis, right? What, what, are, the, what are the symptoms of a dopamine addiction to technology Distractibility, inability to, uh, to get things done, easily, easily distracted, you know, shortness of attention. It's all the same thing, so we misdiagnose things. It's this. It's the addictive quality of dopamine. We can also get addicted to performance in our companies when all they do is give us numbers to hit, numbers to hit, numbers to hit, and a bonus you get, and a bonus you get, and a bonus you get. All they're doing is feeding us with dopamine, and we can't help ourselves. All we do is want more, more, more. It's no surprise that the banks destroyed the economy. Because one of the things we know about dopamine addict is they will do anything to get another hit, sometimes at the sacrifice of their own resources and their relationships. Ask any alcoholic gambling addict or, or drug addict. Ask, ask them how their relationships are doing and if they've squandered any of their resources. It's an addiction. Dopamine is dangerous if it is unbalanced. It is hugely helpful when in a comfortable and balanced system. But when unbalanced, it's dangerous and it's destructive.